I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Mobile, Alabama, where we find a wannabe frauditor. And I say wannabe because apparently she's not, but she's been watching a few too many of Josh Abrams' videos. Matter of fact, she wrote to him and told him about the hard time she had, and now he's going to take up her case on her behalf. Well, let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> You're the supervisor. Yes. Can I get her name, please? One, six, What's your name? Nine, I'm nine, sorry. Nine, Can I get your name, please, if you're the supervisor? Six, okay. Can I get your name, please? Nine, you're not the supervisor. Nine, Can I get your name? You're not going to be professional and tell me your name. Nine, Moss Avenue. Now we can talk right here. This is a public building, correct? Thank you so kind. Can I get your name so I can file a complaint? I don't know what happened at the Department of Motor Vehicles, but apparently our wannabe frauditor got some bad service, and since she watches Josh Abrams all the time, she thought she'd take out her cell phone camera, start recording, and ask this woman for a complaint form. Because that's what frauditors do all the time. Except she's not a frauditor. And it's not going to work out so well for her. But well, let's keep rolling the clip. Well, you got to tell me your name first so I can tell me who I'm talking to. Okay, well, you have this a is a, I, I just asked you, what is your name? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. If you are as a supervisor. Don't and this is a, a public me. building. Simeon? Yes. <laughs> Simeon, you are a public official. Correct? He's our security officer. In a public official, mm -hmm. in a public building, meaning... What exactly do you want and I can help you? And I'm ready to file a complaint for... Can, all right, I need a public records a request. You, you know what request? that is? A public records request. Yes, indeed. This poor woman has watched way too much of Josh's videos. Josh... You need a better push-up bra, man, man, or just a bra, period, man. That is, woo-wee, let's not talk about that. Let's get out of here. What kind of record? I need your your name, title, and position, and this person's name, title, and position. That's public records, correct? My name is not public records. Yes, it is. No, ma'am. Y'all work for the public. No, ma'am. You all and work you for the public. You so you you're refusing? So you're refusing my public records? You all are refusing my public records? You all are refusing? Ma'am? You're some so, lady that walks so in you here all, and you want my personal a, information. I am a... Okay. I am a citizen. I will citizen. be more than happy to assist I am a citizen. you. I will be happy to assist you with whatever it is that you don't need. I don't me. know your name. You don't need to know my name. I'm okay. a citizen. <laughs> Call me good citizen. Now, we all know that when people identify as good citizen, or maybe Guy Freeman, yeah, they've watched way too many YouTube videos. And this poor woman really believes in what Josh Abrams does. It's not going to work out for her, though. Now, this video was about 45 minutes. So we're going to watch a little bit more, and then we're going to cut to when the police arrive. So let's keep going. And call me good supervisor. Oh, no. Yes, ma'am. You are a public, you are a public employee, correct? Working for Mobile County, correct? And you are in your public 
compassion. But I do not have to give you my personal Yes, you do. You do not. I do not. It's have. public record. Okay. It is not public It's public record. record. I'm so glad. Thank you. So, okay. so you are approve you are refusing to give me I am you are trying to help no. you. You're not okay. so you're refusing. You're to help you. you are refusing to give me, me for public. Name. You, you are. Asked me I just you asked you wanted. for. You haven't asked me what I just, you wanted. I just asked you. I don't you, know what you want. Ma'am, I just name. asked you for. So I'm not giving you my I just, name until you tell me what you ma want. Ma'am, I just asked okay. you for an open records request. <laughs> so you're refusing. Yes, it is. I just asked you for a four year request. Now remember, this woman's not a real frauder. So most people would go home at this point and just forget about it, right? Not this woman. She's not going to forget about anything. Hey, forget about it. So you're refusing for you with Chris, correct? Now serving next. I have your night. I have your picture. Seven. <laughs> seven window two. Now serving T. One. Seven. How you doing, ma'am? Man just refused a four-year worker's request on the federal state law. Be expecting a federal lawsuit. Like I said, good people, she has been watching way too much Josh Abram. Now she wants to file a federal lawsuit. Like I said, this thing is close to an hour long, so we're going to skip through it and get to the part where the police arrive. Because she sticks around on purpose to find out what they're going to tell her. She's not going to like it. Roll that clip. One eternity later. Name and badge number. No? Name's Officer Ralph. Badge number 239. Yeah, you your body camera on? Yes, no, it's What's going on? Oh, he the one called you. Oh, I'm just trying to see what's going on. I'm going to ask him now to see you. Oh, he'll tell you. Wait, what's going on? Name and badge number. No? Hmm? Name and badge number. No? Tell me what's going on first. Name and badge number. No? I feel sorry for the lady behind the camera. She has no clue what the hell she's doing. She watches Josh Abrams, name and badge number, name and badge number. She just keeps repeating that, and this man clearly isn't in the mood for any of her nonsense. Yeah, well, we'll see how it ends up here in just a moment. We try to get her back. She wanted to come get our driver's license. Hey, this is what I'm talking about, sir. Man, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's all. Right it's this public. No, I'm talking. Am I detained? This is an Am I detained? This is an Am I detained? You're free to leave. And I'm free to stay. Oh, dearie me. Only a frauditor would say something so stupid. If I'm not detained, I'm free to stay. Right. Free to go, free to stay. I heard that about three years ago from Glenn Serio. I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. The cop tells you you're free to go. You should go. No, I want to stay. Go all the way down, right? Name and badge number. See, you're refusing to identify. You're refusing to identify. So he refused to identify. I didn't start getting out to you. See, you don't know the situation. You weren't there. Okay. You wasn't even there. Okay. If you, they you, you, come to you and told us to take that she didn't get the That's all we asked. And this is a public place. You're gonna have to leave. This is a public place. Public they, place. They Let me get your uh, supervisor. This is a public place. Now this woman's got all the lingo down pat, doesn't she? She wants names and badge numbers. She wants supervisor. She's telling everybody she's in a public space and can't be arrested. Man, it seems like she's got everything down pat. Well, not really. You can't make me leave from a public place. You know you can't make me leave from a public place if I have not committed no crime. Supervisor, please. 
Can I get your name, babe? Go and put your hands behind your back. Now. Can I get your name, babe? It's going to be on the arrest report. Can I get your name, babe? Now this woman is so infatuated with Josh the Jackwagon Abrams pictured here that she wrote him an email and sent him this video and asked him for help. Yeah, I guess she had to pay $300 to get out of jail and she's been a lifelong service member in the Army and Josh is really upset about all this. So. I'm sure he's going to have a fundraiser for her. Yeah, but anybody who follows Josh and believes in what he does and carries on with his principles, they're surely headed down a dark road. But I'm sure the Kool-Aid man can take care of it. After all, he's a big man in the political circles there. Well, he lost the election, though. I don't know how big of a man he is. He's big physically, though, isn't he? Yeah, I think he needs to go back to Victoria's Secret and get himself a little bit better support bra. But that's none of my concern. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Josh. I hope you can help this lady. Probably help yourself to some of the money she makes in her lawsuit, won't you? No doubt about that. Yeah. Cheers to that. Listen, you have a bipolar problem. How you feel? You're bipolar. You're having a bipolar episode. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. If you don't get out of the car, I'm going to remove you. And when I remove you, I'm going to put my hands on you in a manner that is much more aggressive than the conversation that we're having right now. You threaten me in my room like a little bitch. And if you want to take it to the street, we can do it. I'm going to give you my information. I'm going to cooperate with you guys okay, what's going on? because I don't want to go to jail because hey, you look dangerous. What, that is unnecessary. Do not touch either of us. Get back and video this. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Let's go. 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 Go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it. Best luck. Describe your stuff. Well, I want to make clear one more time. Okay. This is unconstitutional. Okay. This whole area is taxpayer funded. No, no. Let's go. So you can okay. see the officers are grabbing me. So I was cutting the grass with a pair of scissors, just tidying up the, instead of using a weed whacker, sometimes I use scissors because I'm really fast. Go Keep go your ahead. distance, bitch. You Keep your distance. Then, then go ahead. Keep you your distance, me, bitch. You me and that's your ass. Keep your distance, you bitch. I will sue you. You can sue anybody you want, anytime you want. Okay. If, if, if they do, I will sue him first because he's in charge. You're in charge, right? You're the guy in charge. You're the one who gets listed on the lawsuit. I've watched auditors for a long time. I watched Rogue Nation. I watched S S San Joaquin. Um, all the big channels, and that's what made me pick up a camera, dude, was watching all them and then going out and seeing all this crazy stuff happening in my own state. Keep your distance, I'm a bitch. Step to you. I'm a step to you. Keep your Go distance or you'll fall. Don't yeah. step, don't step into my 16 yeah, inches. My 16 inches. Don't step into mine. My business. I'm standing here. Don't step into mine. Man, you're a Darren. Cry what? baby. Cry baby. What? Cry baby. Cry baby. Let me tell you what I'm not. I am not a First Amendment auditor. Keep your distance, bitch. You fell in the frog in the leap. You Keep your the distance, frog, bitch. You leap. Keep your distance, what bitch. What you gonna do, bitch? You are, What's bitch. You You're violating my first amendment. And you are violating our policy for not filming in our facility. Would you like to read the directions? Sir. The rules or rules? I would like you Sir. to leave. Arrest him. Okay, I'm arresting. Okay, turn around. Put your hands back. Okay, why did you pull in front of my house, stop, and look into my garage? I'm doing my job, man. Your job is to stop in front of my house? Oh, I'll stay here all day. I'll stay here all day. Then go ahead. I'll stay here for three days. You're wasting my fuck time. You're wasting his. He got all day. He's got all day. Two weeks ago, I got falsely arrested, and it hurt me very much. What have you seen me do? What have, what have you seen me do as a crime? Okay, so go ahead and turn around. Uh, uh, don't go touch ahead. me. Call, Call your supervisor. Call, Call your supervisor. Turn around. You're not I do not. I, I know. I do Drop. not agree to any searches. I do not agree. Holding your nuts doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean nothing. Do you even have anything down there? I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come trying to make me. 
you're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? No, no reason I'm really, to have... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Do. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Take a swing. Take a swing. You'll go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Salam yihala, hamdullah. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. You want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna be you hit me, okay? Sir, okay now you take my picture, dude. I don't know you. I got a broken shoulder! We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. I have been putting in job applications, and it's... I, I don't know any job where you walk up to it, fill out the application, and they hire you right on the spot. She spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Right now she spit in my face. I got a camera. What this all was is a ploy to arrest me in front of Judge Pretty, who I've embarrassed and I currently have in front of the Oklahoma Supreme Court.